What's happening, Nerd Squad? I'm your host, Taylor McWaters, and welcome back to Top 10 Nerd. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is expanding rapidly, some a little more trippy than others. With the upcoming Disney Plus show, What If, we finally get to have our first look at Marvel Zombies, T'Challa as Star-Lord, and Super Soldier Peggy Carter. It looks pretty exciting. But what other stories could we possibly see? I'm Taylor McWaters, and here are the top 10 What If stories we want to see on Disney Plus. Let's do it. Number 10. What if Loki had found the hammer of Thor? Okay, so back in 2011, we got to see Chris Hemsworth rise as the God of Thunder. He was reunited with Mjolnir and saves the lives of many since. Him and his hammer are a pretty kick-ass combo. You gotta love it. But with the amount of times Mjolnir has been lifted in the MCU by others, one has to wonder who's next in line to pick up the mighty mallet. Well, we know Jane Foster will be in line next with the announcement of the new Thor sequel being based off the mighty Thor storyline. That and Natalie Portman sort of walked out holding a hammer, so... Cat's out of the bag there. Well, in 1977's What If Loki Had Found the Hammer of Thor, written by Peter B. Gillis, now I feel like Disney is kind of doing this with Loki's own show. I mean, bending reality, exploring numerous timelines where his mischievous deeds came out on top. So they clearly want to do more with the character after his apparent death in Infinity War. Let's just hope finding Thor's hammer is one of those ideas that we get to see play out. Because the more Tom Hiddleston, the better. Right? I don't know. And before we go on to number nine, if you guys could go ahead and click thumbs up because it helps us out a lot here at our channel. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Now back to some more crazy what if comics. Number nine. What if Captain America had been elected president by Mark W. Barr? Avengers Endgame showed us an older Captain America, which was a really sweet moment for fans because we got the best of both worlds. Cap destroyed Thanos in a fight and then he lived out his days with Peggy. Boom. But what if he didn't decide to go back in time? What if he instead got asked to be the NPP candidate for president? Well, he'd start by thinking about it, but not too seriously. That is until the next page where he very quickly changes his mind. So the announcement sparks a lot of excitement in the Avengers. I mean, Spider-Man starts to walk a little bit taller when he hears that he's Cap's first choice for vice president. But of course, not everybody is on board with this idea and an assassination attempt is of course made. But don't worry, Mr. President can handle it himself being Captain America and all. We see the return of Red Skull in this story as well, and in typical Steve Rogers fashion, lays his life down to save the world. Marvel isn't afraid of bringing back past villains. I mean, Red Skull is a huge part of both Infinity War and Endgame, so to see an alternate timeline where Cap becomes president doesn't sound too far off to what we might see in these one-up stories. Number eight, what if Captain America was revived today? Okay, so while running for president might sound pretty badass, we of course have to look into what if Captain America was revived today, written again by Peter B. Gillis. So we see Cap and Bucky being thawed out and put back into the real world, only it's much, much later. But it doesn't take long for them to suit up and get ready for the fight. They woke up and decided they were gonna kick ass together. And they find their replacement quite well in the new world, being invited to do interviews, on talk shows, all that fun stuff. But with great power comes a great target on your back, and Cap once again finds himself greeted by a bullet. And that's just the start, honestly, because once he comes back again, he has to fight himself. It's a whole ordeal. I mean, sure, we've seen two Captain Americas square off against each other, but hopefully, hopefully we can see more of a political side to that scenario. After all, I'm sure 2023 Cap has some different ideas than 1940s Cap. Number seven, what if Thanos joined the Avengers? Now that the MCU has wrapped up the Infinity Saga, one can only hope we don't run into the Mad Titan again. But with Josh Brolin confirmed as part of the cast for Marvel's What If, we have to speculate what his role could be. Well, for starters, what about a new Avenger? That's right, written by Joshua Williamson, What If Thanos Joined the Avengers starts off with Thor and the Mad Titan putting in some work together. Yeah, we have Thanos working with the team to prevent a war with the builders. So the Avengers trust Thanos to pull his weight for the time being, but not old wise Captain America. No, 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 not that easy. See, Thor reminds him that his paranoia will be the reason that his mind is clouded during the battle, and then that will be the reason that they end up failing. Thanos just wants to get his son Thane back. Where's my son? And I gotta say, seeing Thanos pick up the shields, I mean, that would be just as satisfying as seeing Cap pick up the hammer. I mean, a little bit darker, maybe not as, you know, hopeful, but still pretty badass nonetheless. Let's just hope there's a greater threat out there worth Thanos switching sides for. Number six, what if somebody else besides Spider-Man had been bitten by the radioactive spider? Written by Don Glutt, guys, we've all dreamt of having superpowers. I mean, especially if you're on this channel, you've thought about it probably more than a handful of times. I mean, the amount of times that I wish I was Spider-Man when I was stuck in traffic or in the middle of like a busy full movie theater, I just wanna 
web away. It's gotta be so much easier. So in this what if, we see that kind of play out. We see Flash Thompson, Betty Brandt, and John Jameson get their time with the radioactive spider. And let's just say Peter is still the best case scenario. It's a lot harder than it looks. So Flash gets bit and then teaches a bad driver a lesson. So he decides to take a crack at professional wrestling. You know, keep going with this whole super thing. And then he accidentally kills the guy. Plus the vulture takes him on, no problem at all. Then Betty Brandt is up to bat. And her spider girl costume is pretty awesome. I mean, it makes for great photo shoots, that's for sure. But when she runs out of web fluid for the gram, the thief runs by and gets away, no problem. That thief being the one that took Uncle Ben's life. See, everything happens for a reason, it seems. So next up is JJ's son, John Jameson. While his outfit was pretty on point, his judgment was quite dull. And he died trying to stop a space shuttle from crashing. So which character would you want to see having a swing at the spider life? Let us know in the comments down below. I think Hulk. I think the Incredible Hulk would be the best with spider webs. He'd be unstoppable, I think, yeah. Number five, what if Spider-Man had never become a crime fighter? Sure, being the crime-fighting webhead doesn't sound easy to other folks, but what if Peter himself had decided to go an entirely different route with these new given powers? Written by Peter B. Gillis, we see Peter if he decided to take out his uncle's killer in that moment. But what if Spidey did it just for the fame? Go get the TV news people, he says. And since then, Peter is the big dog in town. He even refers to Flash as a nobody. He calls him a nobody to his face. And then he goes on the Johnny Carson show to be the cool cat, where it's revealed John Jameson, American astronaut, has died upon re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. And JJ is heartbroken that the real heroes in this world have to die, instead of these costume clowns just looking for fame. So Peter realizes what matters most by the end of the story, but what if this happened in the MCU? Maybe he would be outed by Stark, and then maybe he'd join Mysterio to make this whole villain production company. I don't know, I could see evil Spider-Man. Everybody loves him, so I mean, we kind of should throw a little bit of darkness in there. Number four, what if the Hulk had become a barbarian? Written by Peter B. Gillis, in a world where Jarella had not died, the pair had returned to Kai. They were greeted with open arms, and the first order of business was to tie the knot. So he found peace on this planet in the form of defeating the Dark Gods, which is always a nice way to find peace within yourself. We saw a glimpse of this in Thor Ragnarok, where Hulk had crashed into Sakaar and was ruling as a gladiator, taking out dudes named Doug. It would be great if Disney Plus gave us a what if similar to these lines, where Banner had not been rescued, and he'd kept slaying the biggest, baddest warriors in the galaxy. Would he be happy? Like, would he be fine with that? Would he cause more problems down the road for the Avengers? Or would he take care of a few Marvel baddies before they even got to Earth? I would love to see this play out in live action. Number three, what if the Hulk had the brain of Bruce Banner? Written by Roy Thomas, we find Bruce Banner stuck in the path of the exploding gamma bomb, except this time he's got the same Bruce brain afterwards. So this causes massive changes. For one, he marries Betty Ross and they have a happy life. He ends up curing Ben Grimm of his super dilemma, and he even recruits Professor X. So what if this happened in the MCU? I mean, I know we already have Smart Hulk at this point, so we're basically going to see some sort of version of this side of Bruce and his life. But in this What If comic, we see the arrival of Galactus. So Professor X and Smart Hulk and normal looking Ben Grimm combine their powers together to make this large X-Man, literally called it X-Man. That would be a great time to see what Smart Hulk could have been capable of during the run of the MCU. I mean, for one, the whole Sokovia incident would have been a lot different. Number two, what if Wolverine killed the Hulk? With the MCU inches away from being introduced to mutants, being WandaVision with the introduction of her new twins, or maybe Wolverine crosses over to the multiverse and tries to take out the Hulk. Either one, I'm pretty excited for. Written by Rich Margopoulos, what if Wolverine killed the Hulk imagines a time where Logan ended up winning that big battle? The big question is what or who did this, starting with a broken-hearted Betty Ross. So Logan is up to no good after this point. He eventually winds up joining the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. So Magneto tells Logan to join the X-Men undercover boss, Betrayal Edition, right? He's gonna go in and be secret, kind of like a sleeper agent. So while he spent his time alongside these mutants, he realized that these guys treat everybody like family and he's kind of into it. So much so that he tells Magneto to get bent. Deals off, bub. Sorry. So Magneto and him battle it out, both killing each other in the process. So while there's no sign of the X-Men in the MCU yet, this would be a pretty wild way to introduce them. Maybe some multiverse crossover villainness. Then Wanda could just fix it at the very end, because, you know, Marvel likes doing that. And finally, number one, what if Doctor Strange was a disciple of Dormammu? Written again, of course, by Peter Gillis, we see the Sorcerer Supreme join the dark side. Now, his origin story begins the same. He's a fancy doctor who gets in a car accident, and then from that day forward, he relies on his magic to do the heavy lifting. Well, 
any lifting, really. So he seeks the help of Mordo in order to heal his hands, and Dormammu insists to just give Strange what he wants. So, okay, sure, he heals Strange's hands, and then he returns to work better than ever. He's sharp, his hands are working fine. But the black magic is starting to kick in now with Dormammu choosing Strange and Mordo as his high priests and the future rulers of the cosmos as well. So not only do I think there's gonna be a What If episode on Disney Plus about Strange being evil in some sort of way, because they kind of teased it, but the Sam Raimi sequel Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness should have some sort of variation to this one-shot comic. So fingers crossed we see it in What If or his movie. It's a win-win. Either way, I'm, I'm fine with it. Well guys, there you have it. Which of these what if stories do you think should get the spotlight in the MCU? Let us know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay home, keep reading those comics. I'm Taylor McWaters, you're you. And we'll catch you next time in my closet. See ya.